everyone, how y'all doing? Today's video, we have a good old case of karma coming in hard. We have a lady, do you want to talk to her? She runs, and while she's not paying attention, she runs into a metal pole, knocks out two of her teeth, gets arrested. She gets lucky on one charge, and picks up a second charge resisting arrest. And of course, the next day, that comes in saying, police brutality, they want a complaint, hoping to look for a lawsuit. And the sergeant working that day says, uh, no, I saw a body cam footage. This is what happened. I hear the family walking out all disappointed. Basically, it was a tip them to get a lawsuit, some easy money. But you see him get shut down pretty fast by the sergeant. I would the body footage. But basically, it's karma. It's pretty funny. So here we go. September 10th, 2023. Officers responded to a call regarding a woman suspected of shoplifting. Yeah. She's with the Zoomies. We're both law enforcement too. I don't know. Come here. Don't buck. Go over there. Wow. Come here. Uh oh, looks like. We got a runner. Stop. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we call karma. I think I'll move. I'll show you. Please don't hurt me. I need to do nothing. Perfect. I'm wearing my room. Hold hey, on. Wait. I'm wearing my team. Okay. Put it behind you. Behind. All right. Stop resisting. You got three of us here. All right. Good. All right. Wait. Put my yeah. key. Yeah. All right. Hey. I'm taking this out of her hand because it keeps ringing. Shouldn't have ran, huh? Let, let, I need you to go. Let go. My mom. No, nope. I want my mommy. We're not doing that, all right? I will bend this back if we have to. My right, mom. Here we go. Stay under that because I don't want her to. Okay? Uh-oh, my mom. What'd drop? I need to see you drop. Oh, my mom. I need to call my mom, please. Absolutely. Right. Please don't take me. Where you going? I didn't do nothing, man. I just was trying to contact and see what's going on. I thought the police myself just now. Did you? Yes, sir. No. Yes. And if you believe that, put a one in the comment section. If you don't believe it, put a two in there because you know he's lying to begin with. That's what I'm saying. That's what I thought I was trying to complain me for what I just did. I thought I just got off the phone with him and I told him that I didn't do anything. So I said, you please answer for me. Can you please answer for me? Can you please for me? Sir, please. What? We're going to have a long time to talk. I don't want a long time to talk because I was trying to rant on myself with the police. So that's why I thought when you were running after me, I thought that y'all was trying to blame me for what's going on. And I didn't do anything. How stupid are you? I got you. That's what I'm saying. Grab a shovel and hold your nose. It's starting to get pretty deep. Can I please call the police, sir? Please, sir, please. Hey, step down, watch your head. Let's get this off. I don't mind getting it off. Can you please call her, please? I just brushed my mouth. Yeah, that was Don't like the uh, bad, spill you took. Back up. All the way. This ain't going to go very well. It's not going to go well if you don't work with me. I don't want you to work for me. Back up. Back up. Oh. Oh. Sure, she on my leg. It hurts for me. I appreciate your help. Anything? Nope. You're okay. good. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. I'm talking to you, sir. I'm listening. I just got off the phone with them. I called to verify it. Uh huh. What was going on? So I'm just trying to figure out why was you running after me? That's why I didn't understand. I didn't really run after you. Huh? I didn't really run after you. You did. You said you was looking for me racially. That's what I'm trying to tell to you, sir. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kristen. This is Officer Khan with the Daytona Beach Police Department. Did you call about some girl from the Dunkin' Donuts? All right, we have a girl over here. I need someone to ID her. You're saying no one can come and identify her? Somebody else 
Yeah. All right. Calling it in. I appreciate now. it. And it turns. Oh, no problem. No problem. That's what we do. Beating up uh, their roommate. Oh, more phone calls. More phone calls, Jeremiah. More phone calls. That's the uh, criminal justice system. It's all about more phone calls. So uh, they don't want to come ID because it's store policy not to do IDs. Uh, Makes no sense. I could take this girl for RA and then sit the horse pool with her or cut her loose. So RA it is. Mm-hmm. Bye. I have great news and less than great news. The good news is the business about the coach store is straightened out for now, and you're not in trouble for that. The bad news is you're going to jail for RA. <laughs> It's uh, what they call when the cops are trying to talk to you and they have a reason to contact you. You shouldn't have taken off running. I just love how calm he is on this whole thing. Sir. Come on out of there. This is Officer Torres. She is going to search you. At what? Oh, they had me running from him and I didn't even do what they said that I did. That's what's so crazy. Can you turn around and face the car for me? Please. Face the car for me, please. Pants? Right, time to see food. She runs into a metal pole. Blows out her tooth, her tooth is gone, and knocks herself out just for like a, a second or two. And had she just stopped and talked to me, she would. The girl didn't want to come do an ID, so she would have been cut loose. <sighs> so there's no IDs at the coat store. If you've got a girl over here or a guy, hey, come look, ID this guy. Uh -uh. Nope, corporate policy. Uh, my. Uh... So you end up getting shoplifting problems because they feel like you're not going to prosecute. They're going to keep coming and coming and coming and coming and coming and ripping your stuff off. Eventually, you'll be out of business. That's a bad policy right there. My. Ah. So, now you got just resisting arrest? Uh, just a little. Oh, and a felony. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. She doesn't like that. Doesn't like that. But wait! There's more! Okay, so. These are two members of her, a member of her family, maybe a friend, they're here. They're here to file a complaint because she told a completely different story about what happened. We already saw what happened. Now she's told them a whole different story, and now we're going to have to deal with that. Hello. Who's filing a complaint? How can I help you? Yesterday, um, my cousin was at work. She's on the phone, but she can't... Talk yeah. like that. She, she can't really talk, messed up. and her name is messed up. Okay, so... She can explain to you exactly what happened. He approached me. He parked over here by Under Armour. He approached me and said that I was being detained. And I asked him why was I being detained, and he was telling me that it was because of ongoing investigation. So I told him, I already had called to verify myself. So I told him I don't have to speak to you while I walked out. So as the meeting the mix of walking, I walked out really fast. He was coming behind me. Well, I had to, him, me not paying me, me trying to pay attention to him and me walking, I I almost hit a pole. Well, instead of me hitting the pole, I tripped and fell. And when I fell, he slammed me on the ground and detained me. But when he slammed me, I, I slammed in, bust my whole mouth open, and two tough front teeth came out of my mouth. Okay. At this point, I want you to kind of go back to the beginning of the, of the video and watch what happened. And tell me if the story she made is the same what we see on the camera. You can look at the pictures. 
Well, fill out that. Um, fill out this. Yeah. Okay. If that's what you're going to file a formal complaint. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll give it to his day shift lieutenant because okay. I'm the night shift lieutenant. Okay. And then either they'll call you or someone from internal affairs will call you. Okay. Okay. All right? Okay. I'll finish filling it out. Then. Okay. Three hours later. Okay. So I went in the back to look at the apps on cameras because we all wear body cameras. So it looks like when, when he got to the Dunkin' Donuts, she had left. So as he was walking around the outlet, um, there were some customers. There was actually some off-duty police officers. No, they don't work for us, just random off-duty. was like, are you looking for somebody? And he said, yes. They told him what store she went in. She was hiding behind a display. So he came from behind the display. He was like, hey, don't run. Where are you going? You know, don't run. She takes off running. When she takes off running, she's looking back at him, and she runs into a pole. That's what knocks her, her, her teeth out. Um, and then she, she runs into the pole. She falls. She gets up. She grabs her phone, and that's when he handcuffs her. So he never throws her to the ground. Did he, did he snap her or anything? No. When she actually got up. When she hit the pole, she got up. And then that's when he grabbed her and just handcuffed her standing. He never put her back on the ground. Okay? All right. You're welcome. Have a nice night. I know all of a sudden they're depressed, like, oh my god, we can't sue now. They hope we can probably get a lawsuit out of this, and now they can't sue, because the body cam shows what really happened. Thank you. So yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Uh, she did stupid. Karma kicked in and said, no, we're not going there. She got lucky on the more serious charge, caught up the risen arrest charge, and then next day she's complaining, oh, they beat me up, they hurt me, yada, yada, yada. And then it comes in, files their complaint. She comes back, Sergeant comes back out saying, well, I saw the body, body cam footage, which is what we saw, and says, that's not what happened. This is what happened. And all of a sudden they're like, okay, never mind. And they walk out. So yeah, they were in there hoping to get a lawsuit out of it. And no. All right, you guys take care and I'll see you when I see you.